Welcome to another Is It Keto Friendly? Now the extra sugar-free peppermint chewing gum is the product that we're going to test today to see if it's keto friendly. So as per usual, my lead up today, I've been fasting. I've actually had a bulletproof coffee this morning. So it'll be interesting to see what the blood sugar and blood ketone levels are at. So first things first, let's get the ketones and the blood sugar. So it's been a very relaxed day this morning. I've run a few errands and done some driving. And the blood sugar's at 4.1 millimole. And the ketones are quite low at 0.6 millimole. And it's 11.41 a.m. So, like I've said in the past, if I don't do any exercise or uh, gym workouts, my ketones are typically a lot lower than if I have a heavy exercise that morning. So the sugar-free extra, it's something that I would chew quite regularly. So let's, let's have a piece. So as you can see there, it's just a stick of gum, nothing fancy. Now being sugar free, let's just have a look at the ingredient list. So we've got sorbitol, gum base, humicin, mannitol, flavour, sweetener, emulsifier, antioxidant. Excess consumption may have a laxative effect. And per serve, it's 17 kilojoules and 0.9 of a gram of sorbitol. 0.1 of a gram of malatol, 0.2 of a gram of glycerol. So it doesn't have a lot in it, but um, it tastes okay. Now, as you all know, I'm a bit of an extremist, so I'm not just gonna stop at the one piece of chewing gum. I'm actually gonna have five pieces of chewing gum today and see what the effect there is. So second piece, third piece, fourth piece, and the fifth piece. So my plan for this experiment is to chew this gum until there's no flavour left. And then from that point, I'll wait the two hours and I'll check my blood sugar and blood ketone levels again. So I'll see you then. Welcome back. So it's been just under two hours since I ate the five pieces of the extra sugar-free peppermint chewing gum. And just as out of interest, it took about 20 minutes to chew all the flavor out of those five pieces. So it'll be interesting to see how that's affected by blood sugar, blood ketone levels. Now in that two hour time period, I've practically just been driving the whole time. So nothing strenuous there. My blood sugar is now at 4.5 millimole, so it's increased from 4.1 up to 4.5. And my blood ketone level is 0.4 millimole, so that's decreased from 0.6 to 0.4. So, in consideration to those variables, I mean, I did have the five pieces of the chewing gum, so it's five grams of um artificial sweetener or sugar alcohol i should say so it's more than most people would typically have and considering my blood ketone levels were quite low to begin this experiment it's not something that i'm overly concerned about so with my experience with the ketogenic diet i would say that the sugar-free extra peppermint chewing gum i'll still class that as ketogenic even though this blood test showed that I'm actually not in nutritional ketosis. 
But like I always say, I mean, that's what's happened for me under these circumstances on this day. And you'll need to test for yourself to see if this product can be in line with your ketogenic lifestyle. But anyway, guys, it's always just a big game of trial and error. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.